Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how I covered my rudder with Stewart Systems fabric. So stay tuned. Before we getting started, I just wanted to share with you why I chose Stewart Systems. And the main reason is because these materials are based on water what makes the shipping cost still regularly and it's not smell and not messy so I can do that job at home. So, let's start to work. Please note that this video is not a tutorial and you must follow Stuart Systems instructions when you're doing that kind of job. You can easily find it on their website. Okay, let's take a few moments to pass on the stuff that you're going to need for this job. The first thing is of course the iron then you're going to need the pinking scissors scale for dilution the primer or the glue glue remover foam brushes for priming and sealing the fabric standard brushes actually we have two sizes one inch and two inch scotch bright for cleaning and a package of disposable rags reinforced tape for the rib stitching and standard tape based on fabric, vinyl tape and duct tape for the painting process. We have the wire and the needle for the rib stitching, Ecofill, which is the primer based on water, and the glue, which also based on water. Strips of fabric that already pinked and of course the fabric. I took the 3.7 Oz. The weight of the fabric is depending on the maximum speed of the aircraft. Let's start to work. The first step is to cut the fabric to the parts shape. Steward system recommending on leaving four inches of surplus on every side. The next step is preparing the fabric tape areas. I clean it with alcohol and then covering all the surface that can be damaged. The fabric, all sharp edges, the welding areas, ribs, everything needed to be covered by the fabric tape. For the next step, you're going to need the glue, brushes, plastic plate and plastic cup to put the glue into it. Then I brushed the glue on all the perimeter areas. For the first layer of fabric, I brushed also the inner area of the perimeter. For the next step, you're going to need the fabric that you already cut and the iron. And now it's time to adjust the fabric on its right place on the part. When the glue dries, it's still sticky and I used the iron to tack the fabric on the part so it will be easier to set it on the exact place. Next, I used the glue and the disposable rag. I brushed the glue on the same areas as before. I put a nice layer of glue and then wipe it out with the rag. After everything is ready, time to shrink the fabric. When the shrink is done, I mark the overlap line to brush the glue only on the place it should be, so the job will be cleaner and without the glue marks on the finish. The fabric overlap according to Stuart systems should be at least one inch. And now it's time to prepare the iron, the scissors, the pinking scissors and the fabric. Then, like I did before, 
After the glue dries, I set and tack the fabric at its right place. After marking the same line on the fabric, I cut the surplus with the thinking scissors. And next, I did the same as the first layer. I brushed the glue and wipe it out with the rag. I'm now going to over the glue with the iron. This is actually going to activate the glue. After everything is set, it's time to shrink the fabric with the iron like we did in the first layer. This is the final part for this episode. On the next one, I will show you how I did the rib stitching and the finish tapes. I really hope you enjoyed from this video. If you have any question, you can leave a comment. And thank you very much for watching me. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you in the next one.